everyone. Today I'm going to show you the brand new design in the Lance trailers. Uh, I love this trailer. What a great uh, upgrade they've done to some of these designs. Um, let's start right here with the electronics. This one has the 24 inch LED, uh, 12 volt television. So it's not 110. It will work off the battery, which is always nice if you're a dry camper. Uh, the stereo over here that has the Bluetooth, the uh, CD, DVD player connected, uh, got all the latest bells and whistles. That's a kind of an upgrade that came in recently. Uh, let me show you the compartments in here. You've got, of course, any storage space for electronics, things like that, movies, games, whatever. And another little storage bin down here. Now, as you move over here, of course, this pulls out and swivels, right? Got that. As you move over to the dinette, let me show you some of the things that have changed in this design. One is side windows. Look at the windows. You've got windows on three sides in this slide out, so it feels very open, lets in more light. Another nice upgrade here is going to be the, the lighting that they put over the table. Some really nice fixtures, and that, that white glass gives it a really nice glow in here. Of course, all of the interior lights in this camper are LED, as well as the exterior lights, even the tail lights. So, all LED lighting, really nice feature. Uses very little electricity and doesn't get hot. And for here in Texas, um, that means a lot. Uh, but the biggest reason people use LEDs is because they use just a fraction of the battery power that a standard light bulb would use. Um, the next change that you'll see as you look at this nice dinette is they have put uh, fabric on the front of these rollout drawers so it gives it a nice curved sofa look kind of a residential feel really really pretty uh, look to the to the seating area same drawer comes out gives you tons of space you've got that on both sides of these and as you come around looking at this dinette uh, you will also notice on the other side that this has the waterproof fabric on the back. So over here, it's a leatherette, very soft, very comfortable. Some people leave it this way all the time because they like this look. If you flip it over, you will get the fabric look on this side. You get much more of a residential feel. And of course the table drops down and this makes a really nice, spacious bed for two adults. Let's move on down just a little bit and look at the kitchen. This particular model has a corner sink. We've got a larger sink on one side, a smaller on the other, and of course a cutting board that goes over the top. Above you've got storage on the side and on the front. Two lights right here so you get good visibility when you're doing dishes, cooking, fixing things. Let's look at the storage underneath. We've got cabinet storage here which is nice. Over here you've got the, the smart storage that you'll see in the Lance trailers. Pull out trays. A lot more efficient than having drawers, a little easier to manage going down the road, and a great way to store all the stuff you want to carry. 110 plug right here in the front. You've also got another 110 plug right up here at the top. For those of you that put that coffee pot right on the corner and have to have it there all the time, first thing in the morning when you wake up. A uh, little spice rack on the back of this, which is kind of a, a nice little touch. Uh, you know, I know as campers, we're always looking at places to put every little thing. Lance tries to help with that. So that's a nice little feature. Microwave up here, hood vent. You do on this unit, I love this nice backsplash. That isn't new, they've been doing that for a couple of years, but a real nice feature to take care of any food splatters that you have. And this is gonna be your three burner along with this oven underneath. For everybody who's new to the RVs, we get this question all the time. What is this box? This is going to be your breakers and fuses. This is the converter that actually converts the 110 to 12 volt. So 
that's right here on the front. All the heating is ducted, and then your LP detector, which is also a carbon monoxide detector, is right underneath there. All right, moving over, you've got your controls at the entry door that we'll talk about in a minute, but you've also got your double door refrigerator. It is a gas electric refrigerator. Plenty of space in there for carrying lots of food. Up here, this is the button for your slide out room. Over here, this is gonna be your awning. This unit actually has a 19 foot electric awning that goes out with the push of a button, comes back in with the push of a button, and has LED lighting on it. Really nice. Great feature for evenings and nighttime camping. Just a wonderful place to sit underneath and visit with your friends, uh, relax, uh, watch the sunset. Uh, I, I just think it's lovely out there. Okay, uh, these are gonna be interior lights over here and the awning light, uh, a little key hook, Take a look at the new sofa that they have put in here. This is part of their new design here. Uh, it's a very sleek, um, almost contemporary looking sofa. Um, very, uh, very high end fabric. So it's not gonna be something that's gonna wear out or rub. It's a good solid pattern so it doesn't give you too much pattern or overdone feeling in the camper. You can pretty much move the design towards anything that you want give it that feel. The big window over the back. It is a jackknife sofa, so you lift up the bottom, it lays out into a bed. Uh, that can sleep two people. Again, it's long enough for full-size adults. So, great. Sleep six in this camper. Lights overhead, clock on the end, another 110 plug. Uh, we, we point out the 110 plugs a lot of times because people want to know where they can sit with their laptop or, you know, keep things plugged in. Lots of good plugs in this camper. Storage up top, two big compartments. Always nice to see. Now on the roof, we've got uh, a vent up front, right where the stove is in the kitchen. And right behind that, we've got a skylight. So you get lots of light coming in here from all different directions. Uh, over here, this is gonna be the digital TV antenna. It isn't the old crank up kind. Uh, it it w is stationary, but you do have a turn on it to see if you can maximize the signal. And the way this camper is designed, you head from here into the bedroom. Now this right here is gonna be your 15,000 BTU Coleman air conditioner. Powerful air conditioner that is controlled on the wall. Uh, I don't know where the wall control is here, but when I run into it, I'll show it to you. Uh, you do have a curtain that blocks off your living area. I think we'll have to wait till we get on this side to see the, the closet, but let's take a peek in the bathroom. You've got another skylight over the shower so you can get good head height in there if you're a very tall person. You've got a vent that's over the, tele over the toilet. And you can see that that uh, shower rod swivels in and out. One thing to note in here is that you do have a heater duct in the shower. Always nice. If you're camping in cold weather, that's a wonderful feature. Now the sink is right across from the shower compartment and it has a flip up table here in case you wanted more space, put your makeup bag, anything else. You do have the uh, mirrored compartment behind it so you can keep a lot of your things there. It does have lights on top that are controlled right here and of course that 110 plug we've been talking about. And look, there is the air conditioner and the heater controls. All controlled in one right there for you. The other entrance to this camper is right here in the bedroom. So you have a door up in the kitchen, a door that comes into the bedroom another curtain that will block off this area so you can cut the bathroom off from either side. Okay, now one of the things that Lance did that's really great is redesign the front of this. So you've got these cabinets here and they're very deep and they've got a hanging bar if you want that. Uh, not only do you have the storage at the top, the drawer at the bottom, 
But then you've got the countertop built in uh, underneath, and you can put your book, your glasses, uh, your cup of tea like I have, uh, a few different things down here. Everybody has something they want next to them at the bed. Notice that there's 110 outlets on both sides, and there's a charging station on the far side that has the 12 volt and the USB. The curved front makes it not only really aerodynamic, but just such a cool feel on the inside. You can lay in this true queen size bed, look up at the stars. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can actually pull up the day shade or the night shade for a blackout. And it's very nice. You've got a shelf at the top, LED lighting behind it, so you can get some nice backlighting in here. In the evening, this is just a beautiful place to be. You notice you got big windows on both sides for the cross breeze and the fantastic fan at the top. So if it's a cool evening, you can get good airflow in here in the bedroom without the air conditioner. Now as you go around, you'll see that you also have separate television. You could put another television back here. Uh, you do have the 24 inch in the front, but if you want another 24 inch back here, you've got all the controls, the connections, and they even make it so that the screws are in there for the mounting of the swing arm. Coming around, the last thing that I don't think we've seen is this closet. I want you to take a good look at this closet because you could use it for hanging storage or you could use it for shelving. You could outfit this however it suits you best. It's just a very nice storage space. And as we've talked about, that's really at a premium. Now, before we go outside, I want to be sure that you hear the details of this because it's a little noisier outside. With all the options, this trailer weighs 4,560 pounds. So 4560 is the dry weight. It has a fresh tank of 45 gallons. It has two gray tanks. So you can take really long showers in here. All six people can shower. You've got uh, 90 pounds, 90 gallons, excuse me, in the gray tank. And then you've got 40 gallons in the black tank. So it's really made to accommodate everybody that's sleeping here, if you bring a crowd. Okay, well, now we're going to go outside. We're going to take a quick overview of the outside storage and features. We're going to start at the back of this camper. You've got the fat tube ladder that goes up to the top of the camper for any maintenance that you might want to do up there. You've also got a, a this is your water heater, your LED tail lights the back of your refrigerator, and below that is your furnace outlet. Up at the top, this is going to be your vent for your uh, hood over your stove. Let's go around to the side and take a peek. Alright, down the side of this camper, we've got, of course, two entry doors, which makes it a really nice flowing space, particularly if there's more than two people. Notice that this awning here doesn't have any arms coming down the side. Very nice feature. When this awning comes out, it is an electric awning. You don't have any of those arms that are going to be in your way walking underneath it. Just makes a nice open feel. This is a 19 foot awning with the LED lights under it. So you actually have lighting built into it. Did I mention that this is a four season camper? All the winterization is here, included the heated and enclosed holding tanks and dual pane windows. Lance does have new graphics on the outside, as well as that rounded front, so that'll really change the outside as well. Let's go up front and take a look at the storage. Okay, this has the pull-out storage tray in your front storage compartment. So all you do here is pull this out. The storage runs almost all the way through. Can you see in there? It leaves a little space on the other side for a portable generator in case you wanted to use that. Now, if you don't get this option, it's just open all the way through for storage. But this is a nice feature here. Okay, let's look at, these are gonna be your controls for your stabilizer jacks. It does have electric stabilizer jacks. And then of course the sewer compartment above it. Now, one thing we didn't talk about here, let me get this closed up. You do have the gas outlet right here in case you wanted to do a grill outside and it will be right under the end of your awning here so a very good place for a grill. You have uh, 
some electrical outlets in between as well in case you would like to plug in something else under your awning. Just a great outdoor space. Let's walk around and look at the front. Double propane with a cover. This unit has the electric jack, so it's really effortless to hook it up. It comes with one battery behind it. You can do two if you want to. Now take a look. You'll see some screenshots at the end of this of that front window. Just a wonderful front window that goes up the front. It is tinted, so it's not going to add a whole lot of heat. You've got the gravel guard underneath here. This is a, a molded piece and then a nice fiberglass wrap up here. Just a, just a beautiful front trailer. Take a look around the side. Again, we've got the compartment, the sewer hose. This is gonna be uh, just an on-off switch. I won't bother you with that. It's not much, uh, much to look at. If you look down the side, you can see the slide out has a cover on this unit. Very nice to keep the debris, anything from deteriorating the top of that it helps reduce any water leaks or anything like that. Let's look at the storage in it. This actually has a large storage compartment on the outside here. These lances are so well known for a great storage on the inside as well as the outside. And let's take a quick peek before we go at the controls on this side. This is your outside shower right here. You've got cable and satellite, of course, your plug-in for your 30 amp electrical to plug in the trailer, and then your water hookup. Now, if you look underneath, you will see this is a gray tank hookup back here. You also have more hookups near the front. Remember, this one has the uh, 90 gallon gray tank. So you do have a hookup in the back and a hookup in the front for your gray tank. And of course, you can do a coupler to put those together for ease of use when you're uh, dumping at the dump station or at your campsite. Just ask us, we'll show you how to hook that up and make it simple. Okay, well, this is the brand new design on the 2285 Lance. Call us here at Princess Craft if you have any questions or there's something you want to see that we didn't show you. Thanks so much for watching.